We're still learning about prayer from 1 Timothy chapter 2. Uh, Paul the Apostle is writing to Timothy who was pastor of the church of Ephesus and uh, he's telling him how to conduct the church and there are several instructions he's given to him and we are focusing on this one in chapter 2. So we look at verse 8. Uh, we looked at it yesterday but we'll look at it again today. I desire therefore that men pray everywhere lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. So our attitudes in prayer uh, affects the answers we receive or how God responds to our prayer. And uh, the Lord Jesus Christ clearly taught that forgiveness was essential in, in prayer. He taught it in the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, he taught it in the prayer. He taught the disciples what we call the Lord's Prayer. Uh, he was at pains to teach that uh, in many parts, in, in answer to many questions. He taught about forgiveness as a prerequisite in prayer. So uh, we can't really run away from it. Uh, Christianity does not encourage unforgiveness. And, and prayerfulness requires forgiveness. It's in the Lord's Prayer. So here it is repeated that when we lift up holy hands in God, it should be without wrath and without doubting. So God says when we come before him, we pray without wrath. In other words, we don't allow our anger and our pain to drive our prayer. Unfortunately, sadly, a lot of prayer these days is driven by wrath, anger and frustration and a determination to get even against somebody becomes the focus of our prayer. And there are many uh, times that there are prayer points and prayer topics introduced that is full of anger and wrath and vengeance. But the scriptures are very clear. You cannot be praying those kinds of prayer, calling fire on your enemies and calling destruction on your enemies and, and praying all those wrathful prayer because the scriptures are clear both from our Lord Jesus Christ himself and from the apostles that he chose who gave us the foundation of our faith. We pray without Wrath. So if there is wrath in your heart and there is anger in your heart, when you turn to prayer, you don't verbalize it in your prayer. It's not part of the way we pray as Christians. So just be mindful of that. No matter how, how strongly you feel about seeing somebody pay for what they have done wrong against you, you cannot make that a part of your prayer. The second is that we pray without Doubting. The word doubting here, as we find it in the New King James, can be a little bit of a misunderstanding. Uh, it means to be of two minds or to have two opposed positions. But it should be rather disputing. That means quarreling. So when we come before God in prayer, we don't come with our quarrels before God. Uh, but God, this one says that and that one says that, settle our quarrel for us, O oh Lord. God doesn't settle quarrels for us in prayer. So in prayer, we pray with our wrath and we don't pray our quarrels before the Lord. The Lord wants the church to be in unity. He says that when Two of us agree concerning anything on earth and we pray he will do it for us in heaven. So that's important that as much as is possible with us, we endeavor for the unity of the body of Christ, for the unity of Christians. And, and prayer meetings should not become a place where we settle disputes and quarrels and, and, and issues that we have with other people. Of course, if somebody uh, is, uh, is teaching a false doctrine, uh, we have to caution the person and we have to mention it, but directly to them, not in prayer. Not in prayer. When we come praying, we're praying in unity, we're praying in love, we're praying through forgiveness, not through wrath and not through disputing. So, Paul tells us, we lift up holy hands and we pray without wrath and we pray without disputing and without quarreling. That's not what prayer is about. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, let the lifting up of my hands be as a sweet 
and holy fragrance before you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you. <laughs>